Hi, we're here from the uh, first full day at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, we're outside um, the Hard Rock Cafe, where earlier this evening we were on the press line for the World's End Party. Yeah, indeed. So we've spoken to Simon Pegg, Nick Frost and Edgar Wright, and also uh, David Bradley. Yeah, I was there, but also David You're Bradley. David Bradley, Bradley yeah, who, who's here in town to talk about an adventure in space and time where he's playing William Hartnell. It was a very good interview, and that will appear on the website at some point. Um, so this evening was a, was a good one, but what did you get up to during the day? Um, I think the big deal at Comic-Con today was Harrison Ford, who of course is kind of Comic-Con royalty, uh, and he's actually making his return to space for the first time, I think, since he played. Han Solo in Ender's Game, so he, he did a panel for that. He was a press conference. Uh, he, was, he was very good, actually. He was. Uh, I mean, he, he did actually get asked about the, the, the sort of the, the more controversial issue about you know, um, and uh, Orson Scott Card's very controversial views about gay marriage and stuff. And he actually handled it very well. What, what was his response to that? It, it was very much a sort of well, you know, this is a book that's been written a long time ago. Uh, the book doesn't tackle this, and you know. Orson Scott Card's admitted now that he, you know, he's been defeated on his views, and you know that's probably a good thing. So it, it, it was a very, very measured response. Uh, and what else did you see in the, in the um, movie side of things? I saw a bit of Divergent. Um, so we had the cast of Divergent here talking about that. Uh, that's a new young adult thing. Um, it's, it's very much sort of the new Hunger Games or Twilight mold. Uh, and also the bit of Zero Theorem. We saw the first ten minutes of that. Terry Gilliam. Oh, it's the new Terry Gilliam film. Uh, and it looks completely like a Terry Gilliam film. I mean, it couldn't be more Terry Gilliam. It's sort of a more neon Brazil. <laughs> well, uh, old school, I did more comic stuff today than, uh, than movies. Well, yeah, uh, it's comic on. <laughs> uh, I met Jeff Johns, uh, top writer and chief creative officer at, um, at DC. Yeah, and he uh, sort of does the think tank stuff That's right. movies. Uh, the busiest man in comics, probably, because he also oversees the TV shows, Arrow, uh, the movie franchises. Um, so that was really interesting. I got to spend some time with him. And also, I did the video game today. Both Konami and Microsoft uh, had lounges where it was possible to play the game. So I, I saw all the new stuff, including the Xbox One uh, games. Um, uh, and what are you looking forward to tomorrow? Well, I guess it's Amazing Spider-Man in town. And also, uh, the biggest TV, new TV show, in God, I think, in living memory, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Absolutely. Uh, so that's in town, so it'll be very interesting to see how much of that they show. Will they reveal how Agent Coulson's come back? Uh, you're forgetting that The Walking Dead is big tomorrow. I wasn't forgetting, I was just saving it for later. Yeah, but yes, The Walking Dead. Uh, the, now, the, the now traditional... The Game of Thrones. A Walking Dead breakfast. Is it? Game uh, of Thrones being secretive, even though the books have been out for years. Uh, so more on that uh, tomorrow night. Yeah. So. Should be a good day.